the typical tabernacle. God foreknew the Israelites would be unable to fulfill the law of covenant, and although he gave minute instructions respecting the tabernacle and the sacrifices to be offered therein, yet it was only for the lessons it would convey to us. The tabernacle in its court, holy and most holy, in its furniture, priests and sacrifices, illustrated the most important features of the divine plan. St. Paul informs us that the bullock of the sin offering on the Day of Atonement typified Jesus in the flesh. The killing of the bullock represented the sacrifice of Jesus begun at his baptism. In his sacrificing, Jesus was also the antitypical high priest. The offering of incense on the golden altar represented Jesus' heart endeavors in doing the Father's will. Carrying the blood into the holy represented the consecration of the antitypical priest, the veil thus symbolizing the death of his will, because of which he is accepted as a new creature. The high priest passing under the veil typified the man Christ Jesus, pouring out his soul on Calvary, laying down in death the body which God prepared him. The high priest sprinkling the mercy seat typified Jesus in heaven itself, offering to justice first his own sacrifice and then his church's sacrifice. Nothing could be done with the blood of the goat, the church, till the blood of the bullock, Christ Jesus, had made it holy and acceptable. The high priest washing and dressing in the cross represented the Christ complete, changing from the body of humiliation to conditions of glory and power. Clad in his robes of glory, the high priest represented Messiah, empowered to bless mankind. Aaron, blessing the people, typified Messiah at his second advent, blessing all who will become true Israelites during the messianic reign. The people shouting and falling on their faces represented recognition of the end of the reign of sin and death. Their arising represented resurrection. Thank you.